In this video, I'll be discussing the continuous diaphragm sign. On a normal chest radiograph, the diaphragm is seen because the interface of the diaphragm has a different radiographic density with the lung that sits above it. And it's exactly the same principle why you see a blood vessel coursing through the lung, because the blood vessel has a different radiographic density to the lung that surrounds it. This isn't exactly a normal chest x-ray because there's a right-sided aortic arch and an azagous lobe. Note also that where the heart sits on the diaphragm, you can't see the diaphragm. And this is because the heart and the diaphragm share the same radiographic density. So the heart obscures the diaphragm where it abuts the diaphragm. This is a patient on ITU. You can see that they have an ET tube in situ. There is a left internal jugular line. It's a nasogastric tube. And you can see that the diaphragm is seen from the right to the left in continuity, the so-called continuous diaphragm sign. And this is because there is now gas between the heart and the diaphragm, which is causing this sign. And this is because of a pneumomedostinum. Note also that gas travels up the mediastinum between the parietal pleura and the mediastinum and tracks up into the neck and into the supraclavicular fossa. The CT study of the same patient shows very nicely why you get the continuous diaphragm sign. And it's due to the interposition of gas between the heart and the diaphragm. And again, you can see it's uh, tracking up into the uh, superior mediastinum and into the neck. The sagittal reconstruction also demonstrates this very nicely, that the gas is between the heart and the diaphragm. This patient is a patient on ITU. They have a continuous diaphragm sign. Note also a nasogastric tube, tracheostomy tube, two intercostal chest drains, and a left intercostal chest drain. Note also the uh, quite marked surgical emphysema tracking into the soft tissues and demarcating the muscle fibres in the pectoralis major muscle. The continuous diaphragm sign is because you've got gas between the heart and the diaphragm. And this is the so-called continuous diaphragm sign. This is a different patient, an asthmatic, who presents with spontaneous chest pain. You can just make out that the interface of the diaphragm is continuous from right to left as it goes beneath the heart. There's perhaps a little area here where the heart does obscure the diaphragm, but the main emphasis is on the lucency under most of that heart border. Note also that the parietal pleura has been stripped away from the mediastinum by the pneumomedostinum and gas is tracking up into the neck and into the supraclavicular fossae. So the continuous diaphragm sign is synonymous with pneumomedostinum. Now you quite often get other features of pneumomedostinum, but when you see the continuous diaphragm sign, that is always a sign of pneumomedostinum.